Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is not for the close-minded individuals. The ones who can't take anybody else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to transport to Nina's Raw View in three, a two, a one. I'm Nina, Bo Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina Channel. <laughs> Nina Bonina Brown. Is Nina Bonina Banana Banana Osama Bin Laden Brown. Oh, oh God. Tell me this, is there a couch or a chair that is safe around you? RuPaul is reading me for all the tea in China. And guess what? I'm at peace with it. I really am. <laughs> yes, They man. say I sound like a little bit of Beyonce with a little Luther Vandross. <laughs> so we're going to see, honey. OK, let's see. <laughs> Shante, Shante, down the on the runway. Oh, shit. I hear the camera. On the gas. Here now. You too, love. Oh. Yes, oh, girl. Oh, with corset, honey. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the workroom. Yo, what's up? How are you doing out there? You doing out there? I'm doing out there. I'm doing out there. I'm doing out there. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy Pierre, aka Nina Bonina Banana Fafana Samurai Brown. And yeah, I have been feeling my 80s like samurai like kind of inspirations. Um, me and my people watched um, Big Trouble in Little China. If none of y'all have ever watched that show, you should watch it. Really good, old 80s, campy. In fact, Mortal Kombat was inspired by that movie. Um, especially the Raiden character and Shang Tsung. And also, Very Last Dragon, Show Nuff, Leroy, like, yeah, Vanity 7, rest in peace. But anyway, welcome back, piggies, to an all new Raw View. It's good to see you piggies again over there oinking and stanking up the place. Nasty pigs in that damn dirty mud. Mm. So, oh, I was about to say, now it's time to say goodbye to all my piglies. P I G. See you next time. G I E E. Because I oink you. Yeah, <laughs> but I guess I'll be back next week. All Stars Five starts then. But this is the end of the journey for season twelve. Thank you, piggies, for being here and riding with me. Even though some of y'all been slacking off and not coming around, but at the end of the day, I still got Jesus. He got me. Oh, and make sure, cause somebody reminded me. Make sure that y'all have on y'all's bells and notifications so y'all can see when I'm posting something. Make sure you have it on. Don't have it off. I'll never understand the people that won't subscribe to you but want to watch your video every week. But anyway, so yeah, it's the end of the journey. And just so y'all know, I already know who the winner is. People have been spoiling stuff left and right. But I'll still do like all the other YouTubers and pretend I didn't know and act really surprised. But as always, let's get to the... I think I have a comment or one to read. But then the tips, I want to say thank you to the guys again. PayPal. I want to thank the people on there. Simon Foley, I appreciate you. Thank you, Obeyed, or Abide, Almerara. Thank you, Elise Cameron. Thank you, Danielle Combs. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, PayPal. And let's just say the girls weren't really girling this week. Like, a couple of girls girl, but the rest of the girls were boying. But at the end of the day, like I said, I got God, he got me. Um... <laughs> Let's see. Yes, Lish, we know. Joey's your poppy. Thank you for the tip. Todd Blakely, thank you for the biggest tip of this week. I appreciate you. 
And I'm glad you enjoyed me and James' video, even though the audio was horrible on his end, because we don't understand how to do Zoom like that. But I'm glad you enjoyed it enough to tip that. I appreciate it. Thank you, Richard Matchman. Thank you, Jalen Wesley. Oh, Wesley, Jalen. <laughs> thank you, Wesley. I know I give you a hard time, but thank you. Thank you, Lori. Oh, girl, as we said, the Clark sister movie on Lifetime. Make sure you watch it. Oh, thank you, Ashley Laws, for that good tip. I appreciate it, girl. You a queen too. But right now, I'm all king. The fuck, bro. Oh, just really quick, while well, this in my mind while I was doing that, we were watching that show Legendary on Skype, and I feel like it'd be fun. Like if I'm always saying that we should do something, but never come through with it. <laughs> But if, like, both of us were to do, like, um, our own ballroom, the Nina's ballroom, where we can zoom it, but, like, people can, like, walk certain categories, people can walk face, because, you know. Face, 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 I give face, beauty face, it's okay, you can't take, watch my body go insane. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it'll be fun. Thank you, William Hamilton. I appreciate it. Thank you, Christian. I appreciate your tip. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dallas Poe. I'm glad you like my art. Thank you, Love Cat. I'm glad you like my look. I'm which I'm mad I kind of did that look last week because I could have done that look for this finale and wore a t-shirt last week. Cash app. Thank you, Maya. Thank you, Mike B. Oh, Blue Dawn. Oh, that's you. Thank you. Thank you, Acid. That's all the tips. Oh, one comment. You know, I was talking about the bread, like balling the bread up and eating it. Okay, like this one. This one's a little too much. A little too merch for me. Well, Nina, you're not alone. I used to ball my fries too by chewing in, chewing them, and spinning them in my hands, and then balling them up. Oh, you nasty! My friend, you are alone in that one. That has been tips and comments. Let's go ahead and get this over with and get to this raw view for the season 12 finale. Let's go. Excuse my big ass feet. Yeah, I'm doing this for all the people that love feet. Mm-hmm, you nasties. <laughs> you ever buy socks that are just, these kind of socks that keep rolling off your foot? Damn, I'm flexible. Oh, ah. yeah, never mind. Let's do this. None of y'all call me cute today either. I don't want to hear no cute comment, you look like trade, no. Because if I don't look like trade outside of the Whoopi Goldberg wig and the makeup, then I'm not trade at all. You don't want me and I don't want you. The fuck, bruh. Dahlia Sam looks cute. She didn't wear the broccoli, but I kind of guessed it. She wore a different costume as green light broccoli, so I was kind of there, but not really there, but kind of there. I like this look. I'm going to buy this look. And even though they have to record from wherever they can record from, she got the good lighting. She's outside. The lighting is good. I Yeah. Yeah, see this is why it's so awkward to do it from home. Cause like, you know, I have my dresser, but I'm just like, come on cardboard background, come on spray paint. <laughs> um, the outfit and stuff, I don't really like it that much. It's a lot going on, oh, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy it or rent it, but good to see her again. I don't really care for Nikki Doll's outfit either. I'm not gonna buy it or rent it. And normally Mama's face is like fish fish, but maybe it's the lighting. I don't know. And not the person in the mirror recording her. <laughs> yeah. I like what she wore better for the reunion um, than this one. But I do appreciate her, it seems her being realistic. She's in the hallway like I would be. Girl, you will see me doing my video. I'll be tripping over the iron, tripping over the fireplace, over wires. <laughs> so I relate to this on a spiritual level. Hi, Beth, Georgia. Oh, it's Aiden Zane. Yes, Aiden.
stayed in. Okay, the wig, I hate how it kind of stops short here. I don't know why, but wait, Aiden is giving me like white version of Anita Baker in the face. I don't know what it is. But yes, ma'am, Aiden. Yes, ma'am, Aiden. The outfit is sickening. It looks like liquid, like melted penny. And yes, I live. And she's outside in the daylight, still giving you face and giving you costume. And the lighting is great. I buy this. I buy. New York City, bring back Brenna. Bring back my girl. Come on. Chris outfit is nice. What if, like, you know, it's Brenna. It's gonna be a dress. Zada, Zada, with her Madonna titties going on. You know, I mean, I'll still buy the look because it's a well done look. I'm not excited about it, but I'll, I'll buy it. Jan's look, I would have preferred this look on Aiden or like Crystal. And I know that Jan, Jan tries to be different and stuff. I get it. But I don't like this. Like, if you're going to go for an Edward Scissors Hands kind of look, go for it. Like, you can still make it glam, but make it punk rock. Girl, do a nasty, shredded, freaked and cut up mohawk that can hang really long. And you don't need scars, but if you do add a few little scars on the cheek or something, some big smoky eye, a sexy like liquid metal black like chained dress or something. Like go for it. This is just like, okay, I'm gonna do grayscale makeup. Cause it kind of looks like um, Detox in the way where she doesn't own that kind of makeup. But the way she did it kind of reminds me of Detox makeup. The wigs is very wigs and grays. And it's like she just found this dress around and was like, hmm, black and white. I got some Edward Scissorhands gloves. Yeah, but, but I'll still rent it because, I mean, I do like the concept of it. I just don't like the delivery. Damn, I'm deep today. KCMO, the wonderful Widow Von Du. Yes, Widow. I just never am a big fan of this material because it just comes off kind of like... Halloween, like kind of that plastic kind of leather. But, I mean, it's still sickening. And I could really see Missy Elliott wearing this. Um, I don't know why it's reminding me of like um, Missy Elliott's Sock It To Me video. Sock it to me like you won't, ooh, ooh. I could take it like a pro, you know. I do it long throw with the bats, bro. Uh, my hormones jumping like a disco. Yeah, but um, a very I can't stand the rain with the trash bag. I'm gonna buy this though. Yeah. From Ramsar, North Carolina, Heidi in Boston. Heidi's look. Uh, I don't. Heidi, you know I love your sis so. This time the makeup, I don't really, I don't think it really feminized your face like I've seen it done before. Um, the dress is a pretty dress, but I'm not like excited about it. You know, being that the blacks are going through it today, th going through it these past weeks and months and all the protesting, because of the black folks and you black, I'm going to rent it. Otherwise, <laughs> Jackie's look is cute. I mean, it's not bada bing bada boom, but it's cute. I'll rent it. From Springfield, Missouri, she's got us all screaming. Crystal Method. Okay. Some of y'all are going to be mad, and I'm at peace with that. When I originally saw this look, I really just didn't like it at all. Honestly. Let me explain why. Like, I'm, like I know everybody's probably dying and gigging and gagging over it, but I'm not dying over it because it's a little too literal. It's a little too on the head. Like... If she could have still done a pinata look, but made it in the shape of some kind of dress or some kind of like bodysuit, some big bell bottoms, all the material, all the confetti, 
and still gave the illusion of a pinata. I don't like the literal horse of it because it just looks like one of those costumes you see people wear where somebody's in the back, somebody's in the front, and it's a horse. I... But because it's very different and it's just unexpected, I'm going to rent the look. I'm, I'm just not like, I know, I wish that I love it, but I just don't. I don't love it all the way. Good morning, campers. It's Gigi Good. Bring back my Bring back my girl. Gigi Good. I was expecting more from her. Um, I love the rouging. It looks like water just pouring down her body. I hate the helmet. I do love how it's covering the feet up completely. It's very Morticia. But I'm not like wet over it, but I will rent it. The essence of beauty. Jada Essence Falls. Jada Essence Falls. I swear these girls be in my live video and listen to my ideas. Because girl, me and Align had an idea about doing like a universe kind of look. Like I also have my head like the earth or something and like I would have to use paper or whatever or something, but wiring and like have like the solar system like around me, but my face be the earth. And of course it's always in my mind, but I never really do it. <laughs> and here she go. Here, here this bitch go. Okay, I do like the idea of this. I don't y'all kind of just wish though that the dress would have been like a futuristic silver platinum like liquidy metal kind of material, costuming, the color. Cause like all this was just this black dress. And I get it, maybe she wanted this to be the focal point, the focal point and the rest, the dress not to be like so bold. But I just, it would have just took it for me another level if it would have been like a silver dress or something to make it look really alienistic and futuristic. Um, so I'm gonna, for that reason, I'm gonna just rent the look. But I do commend her on this. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so sick of RuPaul. <laughs> Girl, she ain't even, I, I can't. Even this is, um, this, even this is more than what she's doing, I can't. Girl, is it, are we really saying, are we buying a rent to this? Like, no, like it's not even worth the bringing it up. So just, <laughs> no. But anyway, and I feel like some of these dresses would have looked so much better on TV, on stage. It just doesn't shine or bling as much or look as interesting just watching it from their living room. Now I see how y'all feel when y'all watch Raw View. <laughs> but no, for, for that's why like, I do like all my makeup so that stands out more. But it's like, I'm just like, I'm, this quarantine thing is just taken away from like the beauty of the TV and seeing them on TV. And it's like, uh, okay, they're at home, you know. Um, but yeah. But honestly, y'all, when you mad me, but I think Aiden outdressed all of them. I do. I feel like she, literally the top. I think she dressed better than the, than the top three. I'm here for it. And poor Sherry. I know y'all. I, I know the victim. Poor victim too. But I'm like poor Sherry. Just like she never existed. And girl, RuPaul secretly could have put on. Could have found somebody to come over to do to, to do their makeup. Let's not act like all of us are just staying in our house away from people. Like, we have people in our homes. Like, let's, let's be real. She could have found somebody to do her makeup, but. The daughter, the dog, <gasps> doing nothing. Here we are. Michelle's husband's butt is so nice. <laughs> Michelle, I know you be topping him. Oh, Michelle be all up in them guts. Yes. Oh, hiya, hiya, hiya doing, boo. Cheers, Rue. Greetings from Pennsylvania. Hi. I cannot with Carl, with, um, Carl, is it Carson? <laughs> with Carson and this slick back, like, sneezy, sleazy lawyer here. And we get it, you're rich, you have a piano, we get it. Chart filled with milk. Oh yeah. Those babies are eating really good because milk does a body good. They are big, I'm like, girl, in another universe, in another planet. I just might. Gentlemen, start your engines and may the best woman win. <laughs> and now it's time for a deep dive into oh, Hello, Crystal Method. Well, hi, Rue. Okay, what the hell is this look? <laughs> yeah, go back to the pinata. And we get it, RuPaul. You're part of the Illuminati. We get it, the all seeing eye. We understand. We get it. Hi, RuPaul. What kind of dry, like, Message. Hi, RuPaul. Good to see you again. Thank you for having my son on the show. 
Listo. Paulito está muy orgulloso de ti por estar en ese programa. Y te deseo que sigas programando. 90th birthday. Chica does not look nowhere near 90. Come on, Grandma. Little Cody. <laughs> So now they're doing the younger self and the advice you have to them. Now they do it. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love Gigi's look here. It's really cute. I love the earrings. I love it. She looks she looks really pretty here. And just speaking to her real quick, I saw that it was some stuff going on on Twitter because she left some kind of post where she used like how she's excited about what's going on now and that something about she can't breathe. And people, I guess, took that as she was trying to make fun of that, of the George, can't think of his last name, the, the, the African-American guy that um, was murdered by the cops, the white cops, um, and he said he couldn't breathe, you know, because like literally the cop had their knee on his neck. Um, but I don't think she was intentionally doing saying that because of that. I, re I really don't. Like, I, I don't. I think people don't just kind of jump to the conclusions of it. But yeah, I don't think she was purposely doing that. The RuPaul is secretly scaring me in his eyeball. <laughs> Mirror. I know. Come on, Miss Daytona Beach. Oh, the RuPaul look. Oh. I worked my ass off to get here, so. You're very confident. Where, where does that come from? <sighs> Being white, young, privileged, beautiful. Did you get your answer? What's up, bitch? Let's take a look. Hi, Gigi. I'm here in my sewing room, and I'm just so excited. Yeah, she's just downstairs. Just go downstairs. <laughs> and secretly, her mom kind of gives me Tori Spelling. And you know I'm triggered. Oh, you know exactly why I'm triggered. Where are the cool people in this school? Yeah, Essence Hall, you look like Diana Ross on the Eatin' Alive album cover. Yeah, the filter is filtering, mama. <laughs> She got on her good filter, girl, but this hair is putting me in the mind of the, oh, oh you know the wig. Um, but girl, it's a sickening wig, girl. She's, girl, she's still running with that coming to America um, comment that, um, who, who made that comment? Anyway, who made that comment on one of her looks on the show? But yeah, the look is cute. And go out there and win that crown. I love you, bro. Speaking, I'd just like to let you know, Jared, that you're doing a hell of a job. And, um, I'm mad I can't tell which one is the brother, which one the father. Come on. Um, you will go through a lot in life. Um, you will have. Oh. <laughs> he looks just the same. Just the same. The same. I cannot. The, I, I cannot. First, look over there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ro. Thank you, Jada. They this always get all. me. <laughs> What'd you say, baby? <laughs> Girl, is that how my audio used to sound? I can't. Well, slap my uncle and call me Sally. It's time for Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. And that, my friend, has been Beauty in Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. The close-up lip sync. I'm looking for my top three to connect with the song. I think the like, I kind of like the idea of like the just your face and gotta like just show emo emotions. Girl, I would have killed this. And I'm mad that they choose the song Bring Back My Girls. I'm like, they should have chose some kind of like slow or some kind of really song with feeling to really get into it. Child, let's see what these girls do. Crystal, back up a little bit. Just, just too close to the camera, girl. <laughs> I'm looking more so at Jada and Gigi, and they're kind of giving it to me a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, Gigi and Jada, y'all kind of did this for me. Like, they kind of like, yeah, they were like, bitch, I know the words, get into this mug. I remember Jacqueline. Um, it's just kind of hard because, like, Jacqueline was one of the people that, like, 
they have to like make a story and like you know the ones that are like trying to push the things behind the scene and like some things could be a little messy it's like those are the only things i'm like Ugh. but besides that outside of that she really was a sweet person and she i remember coming to like mickey's when i was there and stuff um she was she, she was a sweet person like that was her job i guess you know but she was sweet i remember um like before you go like in, in the morning times whatever you like you would go to this like big cafeteria that's like in the studio parking lot i don't know how it is now but like you would eat breakfast and stuff girl the food girl the flies were flying but um i remember her it was like probably like the first time she was like oh season nine is gonna be the best season or just be the, or, or this is the best da, da, da. and i was like you tell all the girls that and i'm sure she does <laughs> but yeah but rest in peace jacqueline <laughs> trying to be really political this season <laughs> but it was cute though you know i love go, go cover girls one of my favorite rupaul songs beautiful, that's for sure. <laughs> i hate it but then i like it but then i hate it it's so like <laughs> it's kind of cute though crystal is like our drag virgin like Pee Wee herman and i'm and i love it <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is kind of cute until the doodle -doo falling on the mouth. Like, yeah, it's a little too much. That's a cute concept. It's a cute concept. It's different. Did this bitch go being a robot again? <laughs> okay, that's sickening. <laughs> that's sickening. Come on, production. I hate the wig. I really do. Um... But like, it's not about, the, but the thing is like, it's about the lip sync and everything. And, and hers is more so about production and look, I have all this cool stuff and all, you know, but it's like, the lip sync was okay. <laughs> yes! Yes, like I'm kind of here for this. Like Jada, she looks, she's giving me video for real. Like, yes! <laughs> I kind of hit the part on the ground though. It's like the mouth was really big. I know the words. <laughs> See, she didn't have all the production. She doesn't have any, all the fancy stuff, but she still lip synced. She performed. She performed. So like she was better than the other two, honestly. The Queen's moving forward to the finale lip sync for the crown will be announced right after this. I didn't see that coming. Congratulations. You are all moving on to the final lip sync for the... None of this is a surprise. Like, okay, we get it. We need more drama and more ratings. <laughs> oh, after a long year of being congenial... Nina West found time to get away from some feet to record this? Okay. I love that wig, though. Happy and closet. Hey, Heidi. Remember, I was always your best friend through Raw View. I, I loved all your outfits. And all of them were beautiful. Never got, I, I bought all of them. I, I never did not rent them or just like not buy it. I always bought all of them. So yeah, cut me half of that check. Oh. <laughs> but congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Each of you will receive a $2,000 tip. Oh, that's good. Bitch. Y'all giving all the girls money now? Come on, like, come on. I, all stars, here I come. Like, I changed my mind now. No, um. Well, that's your winner. Oh. I stormed every catwalk. This look is something. Surprise of $100,000. Right, I like this look on Crystal. This is a cute look. Okay, this is kind of cute how they how they got it set up. It's kind of cute. I just don't get any of the looks with this number. I wish that they would have like wore something towards this number. I'm just like kind of thrown off. It's like Dorothy is somehow surviving. Dorothy Dandridge is somehow surviving. The Mad Hatter surviving. <laughs> 
it's not like, I don't know, like, like Jada's making a lot of like angry face that she's like. <laughs> I guess my, my, she, she fighting girl, she surviving. The dress with the crown up there, that's, that's sickening. That's sickening. I don't know, it's kind of awkward watching it a little bit. I don't know, like, I enjoyed their other lip syncs better than this one. Jada Essence Hall! Wow! What? What? Oh my god, guys. I had no idea. I had no idea. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Who would have thought it? <laughs> like I said, they already ruined it for me. I can't. The crown thing is cute, but I mean, I hope y'all are sending me my crown through Amazon right now, my real one. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Like, congratulations, Jada. Um, huh, I don't know, Gigi. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess it was well done. Like, yeah, she won. You know, good for her. But it's kind of sad because it's like, you had to win from your home. RuPaul's not giving you the crown and. Oh, this is this has just been a weird year, a really weird year. Like I, hopefully when things get right, uh, hopefully they, they can like at least do something where she can actually be crowned correctly, you know. And yeah. So anyway, thank you guys. Um, well, what do you what do you guys think? Do y'all think she rightfully won? Do you think somebody else should have won? Um, and just I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you for the All Stars Five. But anyway, guys, that has been it. And as always, remember to stay beat, stay beautiful, stay handsome, and stay blessed. The fuh, bruh.